Hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading, Aries. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. All right, Aries, the moon is currently uh, waning crescent moon in Cancer. If you're watching it on Saturday, 9-9. Nine, nine. That number nine is for double. Uh, the number nine is the number of transformation. Something needs to end. Something needs to end, but it's two nines, right? Nine, nine, right? So source is saying to you, in order for you to get back to your high vibrational self, there's something that you need to close out two cycles and, um, and be okay with closing it out. Like really being okay with closing it out, like keeping your vibrations as high as you possibly can, but being okay with closing it out. Here we also have the, the King of Wands, La Luna, yep. Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. We also have the Strength card and the Death card. Yeah, so something just definitely definitely needs to close out. Um, King of Wands, somebody has a lot of ideas. Here we have La Luna. We also have the Strength card. We also have the Death card. We also have the Six of Pentacles. Some kind of an approval for money is coming across your path and also two of pentacles, right? So Source has been trying to get somebody to start thinking of ideas of how you can make additional streams of income. So be in receiving mode of people giving you ideas because again, they're being sent by Source. Source is saying, hey, you know what? You see something that could work, uh, work to Aries benefit, give them an idea, right? But you also got to make room for it, meaning that there's something that, um, you know, somebody or something from your past, and they could be still in your life right now, whether it's family members, friends, like family, whatever, could have been a little overwhelming for you. Once you realize, hey, in this rebirth, I can't take certain energies with me, don't wait for something, you know, big, something horrible to happen, like this big, big argument or somebody to betray you, like... Learn how to close our cycles in love and recognize when we move from phase to phase to phase, hey, I need to make room for something else. So an additional stream of income idea is coming in to you. And so source is saying, will you have room to receive it? A lot of times when we're looking at La Luna here, you have, um, there could be some energies, you know, if you say, hey, I got, an, if I, I got this idea about starting this business or whatever, you already know who in your life is going to be happy for you, who's not going to be. <laughs> I mean, if they've been in your life for any length of time, you already know because we got this crab here and this tortoise here. You've already put your feelers out there to see if I tell such and such how they're going to take this. Remember cancer, the moon is in cancer. Cancer is the money sign and the mother sign of the zodiac. So if you feel in these certain relationships that you don't feel nurtured, protected, and secure, and you know that you're thinking about uh, making room for an additional streams of money, you're not going to feel nurtured, protected, and secure in these relationships. They're not going to tell you, oh, great job, Aries. Those are the energies that need to go. I don't know how plainer I can say that. Those are the energies that need to go because after the moon moves from Cancer, it's going to move into Leo. Leo is a sign that, um, and we're not talking about any Leos that you know, Leos are ruled by the sun. So Leos are comfortable with praise. Um, and so somebody should be saying, great job. When you look around and there's some people sitting there like, they don't know what to say when great news or great ideas are coming across your path. If you're looking for their approval, it's not coming. You've already had enough experiences with them to see them sitting there like there's just crickets in the background when you're thinking of creative ideas. So come on now, Aries. Source is sending you ideas to make additional streams of income. And you already know who is connected to you, whether it's family members, like family, whomever, that's going to sit there. You've already put those feelers out there. That's what, that's what this is. You already know you don't have to, they don't have to say, hi, I am jealous of you. <laughs> they don't have to say, um, I am not going to support your business. You already know you've already had, you've given them like a little taste of some things along the way. And they've already shown you that they're not, you know, on board with that. So here we have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the King of Swords, the Justice card, and then also the Ten of Swords. You do have a, a loved one, like a motherly energy, whether it's your mom, grandma, somebody who's like a mom, who has like a mom nurturing energy saying, toss out all the bitterness from the past and just go ahead and sever ties with something. This is what, what you, and protect your peace. That's what the Justice card is about. It's like, it's connected to Libra, but Libra is a peaceful warrior. And so Source is saying to you, it's two energies in particular that you need to, it's, it's, the, it's a type of spirit that they have. They're just overwhelming. They're never really genuinely happy for you. They always there when you got something bad going on because they like drama. But if it's something good news happening, hey, 
crickets or barely cracking a smile, like, you know, barely happy. So source is saying, do yourself a favor <laughs> and, and remove them from your universe. Don't wait for something bad to happen. Don't wait for something negative to happen where it's this big blow up argument and you're like, oh my God, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. If you have to wait till something like that happens, then by, this, by that time you've gotten used to drama. So here we have Knight of Pentacles and also the Knight of Cups. Knight energy is really about saving yourself. And so Source is saying, you've been working hard on yourself. You deserve to have additional stream of income coming on. Every single person attached to you should be happy for you. If they're not genuinely, I'm talking about genuinely happy. Only person that can save you is you. So like I said, if you're just, if other people are telling you, hey, this card right here, if you've watched other readings, if this reading and other readings are saying, if you got people around you that's just standing around you and they're just taking up space, then you're going to have to reevaluate your definition of friend or reevaluation, reevaluate your definition of whatever you you're doing so that you can bring in an additional stream of income without all the stress, strain and struggle. You should already know when you're starting a business, who is actually going to show up and who's going to come. The Lover's card, the Fool card, the Temperance card, Justice card again. We have the Wheel of Fortune and also the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, somebody is definitely, you know, some kind of partnership in love and partnership is in business is coming across your path. But again, Justice card came out twice. So it's just like, lighten your load. <laughs> lighten your load. You know, somebody is making some serious cuts here. And guess what? You have a guardian angel that's helping you through this entire process. You're making some adjustments. So source is saying somebody's going to definitely feel lucky, but it's not luck at all. It's, it's really, really not luck at all. Like I said, some kind of an approval is coming across your path in terms of love and partnership and in business, but somebody has to first release something else Two situations that's been in the past. So it's just trying to bless you coming forward, like love and in partnership, you know, love and business, excuse me, in partnership, but you're going to have to release something from the past. And a lot of information has been coming into you. So like I said, somebody's going to feel lucky, but I'm going to tell you something. If it's new love, somebody wants coming across their path and all you're talking about is an ex, that's not going to last long. Or if you got a new partnership or something in business coming in about money and you can't take your mind off of whether my last partner, you know, messed me over, they took my money, they stole all of that new person is just trying to come in to get business done. So source is saying to you, here we have, you may have felt foolish in the past, but somebody's going to feel, you know, relieved. Somebody's going to feel like a changed person. You're going to feel, you know, liberated and free from something like, I just need to move on. I, I need to move on. So, but, uh, that's what I'm saying for you, Aries. So congratulations to you. Like I said, some, some kind of motherly energy is telling you to move on. The only person that can save you is you. Because if somebody stays in there waiting for this toxicity and it starts messing up your money, that's when it's going to hit somebody. Oh my God. Okay. I seem like my money is not acting right and things are. So here we have inner child. Allow me to give compassion to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. So yeah, like I said, things are in your favor and, um, wonderful. Be bold and make the first move. So that's source saying to you, go ahead and cut it off. Go ahead and cut something off and move on. Stop talking about it. Stop overdoing it. You're waiting for something bad to happen and say, I knew it. I'm waiting for some more information to come in. Somebody's just delaying money from source coming in and more creative ideas. So here we have affirmations for beauty. I am a masterpiece, period. I honor my inner beauty. I am one of a kind. I am beautiful as I am. True beauty starts from within. Each part of me is essential for the current moment. That's it. Let's see what your number is and let's close it out. So yeah, somebody is definitely lightening their load. Here we have number five. I am adaptable. Flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the up unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. That's right. So that's definitely a turning point, right? So if you're watching this on Saturday, if there's two situations in your life that's been stressful and emotionally overwhelming every time you think, you know, commit to saying, hey, no matter what the situation is, I need to go ahead and close out these cycles airtight so I can make room for the blessings of some kind of an approval for money to come across my path. I've been working really, really, really hard. I have all these great ideas coming in, some kind of an approval as far as business and or in love is coming across. 
but it's all good. All somebody has to do is toss out the bitter taste that something is left in their mouth and not wait for it to get so bitter that it's just like, oh my God, it's burning my tongue. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not only, it don't, not only is sour, but it's also burning my tongue. It's like acid on my tongue. Don't wait for it to get to that point. So it's the saying, just release it, release it, release it, release it so that you can move on with your life and intend to this little one, your inner child, because that's what's been neglected for a while. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.